Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about one of the important component in the payment processing that is payment gateway. What is payment gateway? A payment gateway is a system or application that enables your business to accept payments using different payment options like card, wallet, online, from websites, post terminals or mobile devices. So merchant integrates its application with payment gateway after getting request from merchant payment gateway forwards the request to the configured payment processor or acquirer after running or own checks or validation like fraud check configured rules and sends the response received from upstream system back to merchant and based on the response merchant allow or reject order placement from customer so this is the whole process how payment gateway works payment gateway stores all the transaction details and their status so we can check any transaction at any point of time case any issue with any transaction widely used payment gateways there are many payment gateways are available in the market but i have listed down few important ones cyber source paypal paypal is used as a payment gateway plus payment processor pp stripe square square is also used as a payment gateway plus payment processor amazon pay apple pay there are many more but these are the ones which are used widely payment methods so it is the important offering by the payment gateway so before choosing the payment gateway business needs to check which all payment methods are being offered by the payment gateway if those payment methods are fulfilling your requirement or not so payment gateway can offer payment methods like credit card debit card transaction buy now pay later option wallets like apple pay paypal online bank transfer or cash flow as well so it is not like every payment gateway going to offer all these five mint methods some might offer first two some might offer all five some might offer three need to check before selecting the payment gateway supported payment processor so like merchant integrates with the payment gateway merchant sends the details of payment to the payment gateway payment gateway also integrates with the down the line system or downstream system that is payment processor and the payment gateway forwards the request to the payment process for the further processing of the payment so payment processor is also the important component in the payment processing there are many payment processors available in the market so you need to check which payment processor is fulfilling your requirement there are many processor which are global which can be used in any country there are many which are specific to country so you need to choose as per your requirement business might have to tie up with more than one payment processor in case requirement not being fulfilled by one processor so it might possible that suppose one processor is offering the visa and mastercard transactions and another is offering the Amazon Express transaction and business offering all three cards payment option to the customer. So in, in that case, business will have to tie up with both these payment processor and those payments processor are configured at the payment gateway end. So if payment gateway getting the request from Bija credit card, it will forward the request to the Bija payment processor which can process the visa related payments so i have listed down few examples of payment processors varclays paypal mx varclays is used in uk us and what is the use of payment processor Pay payment processor forwards the request to the card network for the further processing of the payment there are many features also offered by the payment processor which we will see in the separate video so payment gateway having two kind of integration one with the merchant another with the payment processor merchant is the upstream system for the payment gateway and 
payment processor is the downstream system for the payment gateway integration methods payment gateway offer different types of integration methods to the business so that the business application can integrate with their payment gateway first is the direct api inter integration in this application server sends the request to the payment gateway but important point to note it it requires the pci compliance so if you are using this kind of integration method then you, you need to make sure that your application each replication is pci compliant second is the hosted order page hop hop based integration first then you don't need a pci compliant website for this integration in this integration this application or website redirects the customer to the payment page hosted by the payment gateway to enter the payment related details like credit card cbv number so that particular payment page is not hosted by the website or merchant application that is hosted by the payment gateway and another is the direct post method so this kind of method also don't need pci compliant website so in this method typically website application or merchant application submit the details to the particular endpoint so all the details of payment are populated in the html form and that is submitted to the particular endpoint of the payment gateway the important thing here is merchants do not save the sensitive information like credit card number cbv number at their end pi offerings payment gateway offers the api for the merchant to integrate with the payment gateway so that merchant application can perform different payment related actions like authorization token generation settlement refund reverse authorization subscription payments fraud pre prevention technique so payment gateway also offer the fraud prevention technique for example decision manager in the cyber source is the fraud detection application if application detects it could be a fr fraud case. then payment gateway does not send the request or forward the request to the downstream system or other payment system like payment processor reporting payment gateway also offer the reporting feature so you can see the previous transactions and there are many kind of reports you can generate from the payment gateway that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video